we have got a 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time game on ESPN. Florida State heading to the Tar Heels with North Carolina. Look, Mac Brown's bunch, a 17.5 point favorite, total of 64.5. Again, these odds brought to you by BetUS, where the game begins. This is a very interesting stat. All right, so Florida State won last year in Tallahassee, 31 to 28. Uh, nobody saw it coming. North Carolina, double digit favorites in that game, but it was at Florida State. Mike Norvell's first season, crazy things can happen. We get it. Mac Brown, you know, his alma mater is Florida State. He has never beaten them on the field. He is 1 10. 1-7 at North Carolina, and that was 0-6 in the first stint, and then 1-1 now that he's been there for you know a few years. And he was 1-3 at Tulane. Never, obviously, that one makes perfect sense, right? But I, I'm i looking at this, and this looks a whole lot like the Georgia Tech-North Carolina game, but I don't believe that Florida State has the guys on defense to be able to get to Sam Howell to rattle him, and that's what scares me. I'm still going to ride with Florida State plus 17 and a half here because I just think it's too many points. Would it surprise me to see Sam Howell go off in this game the same way that he did against Virginia? Nah, but I'd still feel like this is one of those where maybe maybe North Carolina overthinks this thing a little bit. So I'll, I'll take Florida State plus 17 and a half. So what's weird? So I'm with you. I'm going to take the points. I'm going to take Florida State. But here's the thing. This is, a, this is strange. I don't see this game being a 14-point game. I don't see this game being a 15-point game. I think one of two things is going to happen. It's either going to be UNC Virginia, and UNC is going to beat them by 20, or and it's going to be a route. Like, they're going to cover, they're going to cover easily, and they're just going to kill them. Or, if Florida State covers, I think Florida State's going to be in this ball game, and I think it's going to be tight. I, I tend to agree. Like, there is something. I think it's going to be one of those two outcomes. I don't think we're getting anything in the middle. There is something to this idea that these guys know that their coach has never beaten Florida State, and that can kind of seep into the locker room a little bit. Like, if Mac Brown gets a little on edge in, in practice this week, and maybe that seeps into the players a little bit. They start to play a little tighter than they normally would in a situation like this. They are at home. I think that helps. But I also think if you play a little bit tight, Florida State's got nothing to lose here. So I'll, I'll roll with the Seminoles plus 17 and a half. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.